back to game a little bit more. Uh, what's the most common mistake you see men make in game? Well, I, I think the biggest one is mindsets, right? We kind of spoke about this a little bit before. People thinking like looks or anything matter. Um, people thinking that they should stay in their mom's basement forever. Um, I think mindsets are the biggest thing that hold people back. And that usually manifests in poor subcoms. It usually manifests in them being super hard on themselves. So they have like one rejection by a girl and they don't want to like approach anyone else or go out anymore. Um, they have one failed relationship and, you know, they think all women are fucking horrible and they join some red pill community. So I think like mindsets are the first thing and most fundamental thing that people fuck up the most and need to correct. And that usually manifests in like uh, a lot of other problems. So I'd say mindsets. Yeah, I would say I would say it's yes, mindset, definitely the whole inner game, but as well, like, you know, lack of social and emotional intelligence. This is where kind of guys are today really fucking it up big time. Like, you know, they don't socialize enough. They, they don't feel, you know, emotions. They're like more too, too much in their heads. And as well, basing a game, basically all what they know is basically what society, what mainstream is selling, you know, game based on money, looks and status. You know, that's that's their way how to get girls. You know, what you do, like, you know, you need money, looks and status, like go to the gym and, you know, that's their whole, and then like some basic conversation, like, you know, or even like you know, asking questions, you know, interview mode. So, but I would say it all comes down to social and emotional intelligence. Very low social and emotional intelligence. Average, average level of social and emotional, it really dropped down in the last couple of years, but that's kind of for general trend, like, you know, especially in a community, like what, what, the guys we've been teaching, like, you know. Yeah, I yeah. think most guys I think, never even get started. Well, like, I think most guys aren't even consistent. They don't even, like, go out and take enough action or they're not consistent. So they they kind of fall off almost from the get-go. Like, they never if, – if you don't stay consistent, you're not going to get results at all. And you actually have to go out and practice and take action and actually implement that kind of aspect in your life to make it, like, daily routine. So that's it's where a lot of guys make a lot of mistakes where they're not luring enough because they're not taking enough action. They're not meeting enough women. Yeah, I agree with that. I also think it's just pure relatability. Like, I think one of the potential problems with our industry is like guys will see us and try and copy exactly what we do and not understand that there are nuances there that we have specifically that they can't exactly copy. And I think for a lot of guys who want just normal dating life, they just want to have a nice girl, they just want to date, they're not looking necessarily to be in the top 0.1%. For them, it's just relatability because there are so many girls out there who kind of their bar is like a normal, decent guy, right? But these guys are putting something on. So they're not winning those girls and they're not winning any other girls either because they're, there's something off. It's that uncanny valley. They're not relatable. So I think for the average guy, if we're talking about the majority, I think it's literally just thinking they have to do more than they actually have to do. They basically just have to go up, say hi, be normal, be acceptable socially. And a lot of the time that's enough to get them over the mark. I don't know if I have like one, but I'll, I guess I'll do like three that come to mind. Uh, the first one is like on a date, talking about yourself way too much. Like guys go on a date and they'll just blabber and the girl will get bored. Um, that's not really a good game if you're just going like, yeah, so, you know, I was a snowboarding champion and high, like no one gives a shit. Uh, you want to ask questions, uh, build on those questions, uh, you know, make funny statements, flirt with the girl, not so much as like tell her your fucking history. Uh, I think number two is failing to build sexual tension. Uh, keeping the date like they're very afraid of like creeping the girl out so they never build any sexual tension then two hours in the date is over and the girl's like all right cool well it was nice meeting you and the guy's like what happened i thought i was gonna, I was gonna go back to my place and i would say the um the third one is being overly gamey that's more of a text that i see this but guys just like trying really hard because they don't want, they're really worried about coming off as boring so they go to the other end of the spectrum they try really hard not to be boring but then that also is not good because it just seems like very try hard. So they're like trying to say like these overly witty, like overcomplicated like texts that like actually just make it seem like the guy's trying really hard not to try hard. Um, yeah, so I think those are probably the three that come to mind for me. Uh, anyone else who hasn't shared theirs yet? Uh, I'm going to sound like I'm pandering here. But I think everybody gave really good advice. I'm actually, I think at different levels, different people have um, different situations. So if you're not doing fucking game and that's your thing, like which is the majority of society, you need to get yourself out there and start taking action because none of the advice we give you, anybody is going to actually be applicable if you're not going out and taking action. If you're not getting coaching, if you're not 
going out there and talking to girls. You're not trying to be more social and you're stuck in your mom's basement. Time to get out of your mom's basement. But if you are actually getting out there and gaming, the other things the other guy said, I actually I absolutely agree with. It's just, I think it's where somebody's at. Like the same thing with Red Pill we talked about earlier, that some people in Red Pill, they needed that momentarily. Like they were in a moment where, you know, maybe life was very hard and they were scared and they were angry. And so Red Pill gave them out. It's just not getting stuck at a certain place and be willing to move on, move past that. Mm -hmm.